Hi, this is Greg Shields, and I'm going to show you how you can filter a group policy object using a WMI filter. You know, sometimes, as you might have read in the article, you may want to actually filter a group policy object down to a, a smaller set of users or computers. Maybe you don't want to send that whole group policy object to an entire organizational unit, but just a subset of that OU. One of the ways that you can do that is by using a WMI filter, although the process is, is a little challenging. You'll see here I'm taking a look at the group policy objects inside my domain, and the one that I want to look at here is called the WMI filtered policy. I've created this policy, it's relatively empty at this point, but I want to use it to show you this WMI filtering location down here at the bottom. This is the location where you'll actually attach the WMI filter to the group policy object. If I click the drop-down, you'll see that we haven't created a filter yet. The location where we create that filter is here under WMI filters. If I right-click and choose New, you'll see that I'm greeted with a new WMI filter dialog box. Now I need to put in here what sort of name that I want to create for this WMI filter. In this case, I want to filter to just the Windows 7 computers in my domain. So I'll type in Windows 7 computers here for the name, click Add, and then I'm greeted with a WMI query box. Now here's where things get really complicated, because I need to punch in the exact WMI query in the right syntax so that I will tell this group policy when it needs to apply. Discovering what that syntax is is hard, but really also understanding what kind of data I can pull out of WMI is even harder. I have to have some sort of browser tool to look inside of WMI to find out what kind of data I'm looking for. Now in this case, what I'm looking for is some way to tell if that computer is a Windows 7 computer or not. One of the tools that I can use is inside of the WMI administrative tools. Now I'll tell you, this is a really, really old toolkit. It was first published in 2002. And it's fairly basic too, but what it does provide is a way that I can browse through WMI to try to locate the different objects and classes that I might be looking for. This is what it looks like. This is WMI Sim Studio, or CIM Studio. And what it does is it provides me a location to browse through all the different classes and to view their properties and their associations and the instances of data that are in each class. Now the hard part is, is obviously trying to find out which class I'm looking for. If you're not familiar with WMI, it could take you a long time to try to figure out what you might need to find. One of the things you can do here is to click the little binoculars button and enter in any sort of class information that you might want to search for. In this case, I'm looking for operating system information. So I'll click the Go button and search the class names to try to find operating system information. In the search results, I see a couple of different options here. Now I just know that what I'm looking for is under Win32 Operating System, and you, you'll have to figure that out by searching and browsing to find what information you need to find. Let me show you how you might find that information. If I click here under Win32 Operating System, it will bring up the properties and also the methods associated with that class. Now the properties represent the data that's in that class. I need to find out, well, what data do I want? This magic button up here in the upper right can help me find that data by viewing the instances of data for this computer. Now I just happen to know that the data I'm looking for is under the caption um, item here, the, the caption property, and uh, it shows me Microsoft Windows Server 2008 R2 Enterprise. Now what I'm looking for is Windows uh, 7, but I know at least that I can view this caption property to find the information I want about what type of Windows installation I'm looking for. Let's keep this in mind. Another location I might go to to find more information about these WMI filters is a web page that Microsoft has put up on TechNet called WMI Filtering Using GPMC. And there's a bunch of information in here, but the most important information is down here at the bottom, where Microsoft provides a set of potential WMI filters that you may be interested in taking a look at. You'll see the one that I'm interested in here is called Operating System. And it only targets computers, in this case running Windows XP Professional. What I want to do is copy out just this information, the select string from this information, or from this web page, and then paste it back into this WMI query, just like so. I'm also going to need to change this from Windows uh, 7 Professional to Windows 7 Ultimate, because I know that's the query that I'm looking for. I click the OK button, and it creates the filter, and I hit the Save button here, and I now have the ability to attach this filter to a group policy object. You'll see if I go back here to WMI Filtered Policy, I can choose to apply this WMI filter to this group policy object. 